All right, YouTube, it's almost six o'clock in the morning, all right? I already got most of my day done. Why? Because I'm an early bird. Early bird gets the... Comment, like, subscribe, share the video, like the video. Y'all read the title. Having a staple. I'm about to give you something that you can implement in your diet today, all right? If you're cutting for the summer, I hate to say it, a lot of people started too late, um, but you can still get fit. You can still lose some weight, all right? Um, having a staple of volume in your diet, all right, in every meal or at least two meals out of the day. Me, I do um, breakfast and dinner, all right? I try to have a staple of volume, meaning something that can fill you up with low calories, all right? Um, my number one thing I use is mixed vegetables, all right? Mixed vegetables. Like, if you have mixed vegetables, for one, the vitamins, the minerals, the fiber, and all that. All the good stuff is vegetables, right? But that ain't even why I eat it. That's just an added bonus. The reason why I eat it is because it can fill me up without having high calories. But what about your protein wrapping? What about this and that and the third? Yes, you know I'm repping time fitness. Of course I'm gonna have high protein. So lean meat, lean meat. Those are staples, all right? But staples of volume meaning that's the thing that a lot of people miss, all right? You can have different things like um, vegetables. Uh, shout out to Mika Fasting. Um, I know she uh, told me something about uh, cauliflower rice. Um, I used to eat that, and I forgot all about it. But you can use that. You can use um, mixed veggies. You can use fruit, things like that. Fill yourself up with low-calorie things. Add in everything else next, all right? So... What I'm talking about is like, okay, for instance, this thing might fall because it's, it's not stuck to anything, all right? So, yeah. But what I'm saying is, ah, it would have went up the hill and it didn't even fall. But that's why I keep readjusting it. But what I'm trying to say is this. Listen, listen. If you fill up with mixed vegetables, all right, you might have 150 calories worth of mixed vegetables. Let's say you have 200 calories worth of lean meat. All right, that's only 350 calories, all right? And if you add cheese and a few other things, maybe some sauce, low-calorie things, all right? Like hot sauce, things like that. You can you can have a really good meal with like less than 500 calories and fill you up with the same, give you the same full and satisfaction with flavor as you will eat something that has 1,500 calories, all right? Think about it, every time you go to McDonald's, every every time you go to Wendy's, all of that, you know what I'm saying? I made a video a long time ago proving that the average American eats over 5,000 calories a day and don't even know it. That's because people don't wanna count their calories. People think counting calories is a chore, but if you don't wanna count calories, this is even better for you, all right? If you don't wanna count calories and you eat meals like this, volume type meals, I got volume type meals. Matter of fact, no I'm not. Yes I am. I'm gonna link one of my volume type meal videos in the link below. I don't know if it's my best or my worst. I, I haven't made one of these type of videos in a long time. But I'm also gonna link, like I've been linking. Dang, quit falling. I'm also gonna link my top 10 misconceptions about weight loss video. That's the number one video. It teaches you everything. Um, that's all I really got to say. I'm not going to make this video long. I just wanted to give y'all that tip. Um, have a staple of volume in at least two of your meals out of the day. And I guarantee you, you will start seeing results. Somebody's over there yelling like crazy. Comment, like, subscribe, share the video. Thing fell, let me flip it back. To share the video, like the video, try it out, analyze what I just said, see if it makes sense for you, all right? That's all you gotta do. I mean, low to no calories. Another rule is low to no calories on drinks. If you don't like artificial sweeteners, just drink water. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, are drinking high calorie drinks, two, 300 calorie drinks. You gotta think about all of that, all right? Just because you don't count calories, I'm gonna keep talking. 
just I was about to end the video, but just because you don't count calories does not mean your calories don't count. Any calories that you put in your body that does not get used, any calories that does not get burnt by movement, exercise, living, this and that and the third, your BMI, all that, but um, any calories that's not used is gonna get stored. Stored is what? Adipose tissue, body fat, all right? So that's why we're overweight in this country, all right? Because we have the abundance of food and we don't tend to count our calories. You know, most people eat 1,500 calories for breakfast, all right? Then they eat another 1,000 calories for a snack in between breakfast and lunch. So that's 15 plus 1,000, that's 2,500 and you ain't even had lunch yet. Yeah, I know that's hitting home. I ain't dissing, I'm just saying this is how people do. 1,000 calories for, for a snack, you know, some chips, a drink, and some other stuff. Then they have lunch when they have another 1,500 calories. 1,500 calories, 1,500 calories, that's 3,000 plus the 1,000 calories for a snack. Then they have another 1,500 calories at dinner. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, think about it. Like, burgers, fries, drinks, all this stuff that we love to eat, I eat it too, in moderation, all right? So, check out my cheat day videos. Also, just type in any of my stuff. I teach you what I do when I do a cheat day video, my cheat day videos are very diet informative. Why? Because I tell you what I did before the cheat, after the cheat, during the cheat, how I cheat, the difference between, I literally have a video called the difference between a cheat day and a cheat meal. And it's very different. So type that in. But if you don't want to type in anything, click the link to the two videos below. Um, yeah, man. Then people have 1,500 calories or 1,000 calories for dinner, all right? Even if you have 1,000 calories per meal, right? That's three meals. That's still 3,000 calories. Then you got to add snacks. Then you got to think about sauces and sauces and drinks. Sauces and drinks add up, all right? Different types of sauces, dressings, drinks. Those things add up. Just because you're not counting them do not mean they don't count. They do. That's all I gotta say, man. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Rewatch the video to, to see what I said at the beginning of the video. Matter of fact, I'll say it again. Have a staple of volume because hunger, hunger and cravings, those are the two main things that make people fail on their diet. Hunger because when people go on a diet, they wanna pull out all the stops, they starve themselves. And you're not gonna starve yourself forever, so you're gonna end up binging. Another thing is cravings. People say, oh, I can't eat that. That's bad food. Da, 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 da. I can't have any flavor. Okay, now you're going to crave. You cut out all your favorite foods. Now you're going to crave them. And you're not going to not eat chips again. You're not going to not ever eat, you know what I'm saying, your favorite foods again. So when you eat them, you're going to eat them too much. And you're going to think, oh, chips. No, chips don't make you gain weight. There's no food that makes you gain weight. It's the abundance of how much food you're eating. It's, if you're eating well above your maintenance calories, you're going to gain weight. If you're eating below your maintenance calories, you're gonna lose weight. Yes, there's more to it than that, but that's, that's the bread and butter. That's the part that people are trying to avoid. I don't wanna count my calories. You don't have to. Just eat volume meals. If you don't wanna count your calories, matter of fact, I'm gonna add that to the, to the title. All right, if you don't want to eat, if you don't want to count your calories, have a staple of volume. That might be it right there. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. Holler back at your boy. Peace. Watch, click the link. That This video was off the top of the head. The link below, top 10 misconceptions about weight loss, I actually wrote some things down and put a lot of effort into that video. So if I just gave you a jewel, owe it to yourself you owe it to me i'm gonna just say it look at the cuts of my you owe it to me i just helped you out tremendously you know it. don't be a hater but no more than you owe it to me you owe it to yourself all right if you're really trying to get on your journey and you want your journey to you know what i'm saying be successful it's a free video just like this is it's not another site or nothing like that. It's still YouTube. 
a free YouTube video that's going to help you out more than this one did. More, 10 times more. Also, if you just want to learn a recipe from me, click the other one. Damn, peace.